welcome to the mountain kingdom of Lesotho, a country endowed with spectacular mountains. This is the story, my story. My name is Lesse Raymond Lesse. I'm the founding member of the Sweet and Mellow Concepts. It is a product development company uh, focused in agro-processing. Our initial product was a production of a wine with the brand called Roots of Africa. My journey in agro-processing started when I used to work for a company in South Africa called Union Transport International. Uh, they are supply chain management solutions and they really caught my attention in the international trade. The challenge that we are faced in Lesotho is the lack of information and the skills uh, when it comes to specific sectors in the country. We find that these are challenging aspects for entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs, even for the youth, because they don't know where to start, where to begin. Even when they go into sectors uh, such as agro-processing, it's really difficult for them to be able to, 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 to enter these spaces. How we work is we are a product development company in a sense that you've got a concept. We then uh, help you develop the concept, and then you go through the process of defining the concept, the features of the concept, and then we eventually then try and work it into a tangible product. And I think that is what has happened with us when we first were creating the Roots of Africa. Initially the quest was to find out the, the, the wines that could pair perfectly with African food. And then we set about blending different varietals of wines in order for us to come up with the perfect blend that would suit the palate that is African food. So similarly, we would go through that and actually end up with a, some form of a prototype for us to be able to say, this is a product, it's got the potential to go into the market and, and sell. And we hope to translate this to help other young Basotho to be able to develop their own concepts into tangible uh, products that they can go out and sell into the market. Having met with Mr. Lisey, he has helped a lot with linking me with the right people. The right people that help the business to grow. The right people that showed us that we need to be a bit more accountable and have an accountant within our business so that we can see the cash projections and the financial projections that we're dealing with. The company has since grown. These people are the people that you realize it's a young basso to their aspirant and uh, they, they, they have the potential to employ thousands of other young people in the country and we've been assisting to make sure that their products come to life and we're able to, to create the impact that is necessary and that is employment and when there is employment people are able to earn their livelihoods. The challenge with starting the Sweet and Mellow Concepts and the product development is, one, it was a virgin territory for me altogether. I think for me the simplest thing was to source the products and come and redistribute. But developing your own product was a, a bit of a challenge because we didn't know which way to go. I've had a great mentor in a gentleman called Peter Stewart who runs uh, several wine estates globally. He was a real anchor in a sense of being able to guide and show me the way. But the biggest challenge was that access to finance, especially for startups, is still a huge challenge for us. It is still a huge challenge for the young people in the Soto. Our the projection for the Sweet and Mellow concept is for us to become one of the most sustainable employers in Lesotho and us going into aqua farming. This is an opportunity for people to invest in a company that is uh, looking at uh, sustainability uh, long term. Uh, obviously economic benefits for, for Basoto. We are looking at to say if you invest with us you can invest in a company that is going to help change lives. Mm -hmm.